All right, folks, welcome back to another Gem or Bust series unboxing and amplifier dyno. Um, yeah, that's again, this is a Gem or Bust, not a budget Gem or Bust, because today I have got an amplifier that uh, retails for $5.99, though they are on sale currently for $3.49, and that is I have got the Dynamic Audio Co. Uh, DA. 2300.1D amplifier in for testing today. Um, I'm going to be straight up front with you guys. I don't know anything about this company. Um, I was approached by a viewer named Pablo Castillo um, down in Texas and he said, hey, I, um, I just got a couple of these amps in for my, uh, my vehicle that I compete with and I thought they'd do pretty good and I want to know what they do. So can I send you one? And of course, I was like, sure, I'll test just about anything. If I've got the time to do it, I'll do it. Um, so here is what I can tell you. Um, they're a Korean-made amplifier because it says right here, made in Korea. So I know that much. And, you know, just from being around so many amplifiers, I can kind of tell right off the bat that this amp uh, is probably made by Zenin over in Korea because it's got a lot of the packaging hallmarks that usually they do so again I really don't know much about this company I don't know much about this amp so we're just gonna jump right in and we're gonna start unboxing this amp we're gonna see what this amp is made of uh, and then afterwards we're gonna strap it up to our amp dyno and we're gonna find out just how much power the dynamic audio DAK 2300.1D actually does. I'm assuming it's probably around 2300 watts, but this is why we do the test. So, all right, let's just jump in and start unboxing this bad boy. Okay, opening her up. And inside one box, we get another box. But we do get an owner's manual here. Let's see if I can find the ratings on this amp. A lot of different stuff as to how you hook these up. And again, this is very Zenin for an owner's manual. I mean, this is this is what they look like. Um, you can see same font as whenever I do like a Wolfram W series. So this amp is rated, I don't know if you can read that or not. I'll take a photo of it and give you a better picture. We'll get 780 watts by one at uh, 4 ohms, 1450 watts at 2 ohms, and 2300 watts by one at 1 ohm. And uh, yeah, it does say it's strappable, and you can get uh, a two ohm strapped, 4,450 watts. So nice, recommended fuse rating, 300 amps. Interesting. That, if this is a 300 amp recommended fuse on a 2,300 watt amp, that's either this is either inefficient or underrated. So. Well, we're going to find out that too. So opening up the next box. And yeah. So you guys remember, this obviously is not the first Zen and Amp I have unboxed for you. We did the Brutal Sounds. We did the two Wolframs, the 1500 and the 4500. Zenon always puts these upside down. I mean, you're supposed to have a glory shot. You open it up, and there's the top of the amp, and you're like, ah! Not this one. Not, not Zenon. Zenon's like... You know what, screw you guys, we're going to see our butt and we don't give a crap. So, let's pull an amp out. Oh, first, oh, I got a bass knob here. Let me hold off on the amp here. You, know, you can stare at its butt here a little bit further. Uh, yeah, so remote bass knob. And it is metal. So, this is pretty, this is a standard Zen and remote bass knob. It's got an LED light, power on, telephone, telephone cord style. So... Not too shabby. And one last amp here. And I think Zenon seems to love making pewter heat sinks because this one is also that tungsten pewter look. Uh, whatever the hell that is. Um, look, I'm not a color palette guy. You guys tell me. I've called it tungsten. I'm calling it pewter now. I don't care. One of those two. Um, very attractive heat sink though. No fins on the side. So normally you want the fins for a little bit extra cooling, but I mean, 
I guess it's okay. Um, this is a heavy amp, though. This is this has got some heft to it. Um, of course, you see the dynamic audio silk screen there as well, <laughs> and um, they were serious. Uh, Class D monoblock. They're gonna put all the information for you right in the heat sink. Class D monoblock, 2300 RMS at one ohm. DAK 2300.1D, just in case you weren't sure. So no max power. I put the old RMS right there. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's check out the sides of the amp. Along this side of the amplifier, we find our power input terminals and our speaker output terminals. Uh, these power terminals here are in fact one aught power and grounds. You can see here. Here's a one aught reducer. Fits in. 100% no problem and these speaker outputs are 8 gauge each and they do give you a pair of some mono speaker outputs so that's pretty good I'd like to see that along this side of the amplifier we of course have our RCA inputs as well as an R a single RCA output for linking two of these amplifiers together yes they are strappable you have of course your little switch here between master and slave you have your remote base output connection right there, the telephone, telephone cord style. And this is so perfect, I love it. In my opinion, you only need three things to set a base amplifier, a monoblock. You need your gain, a subsonic filter, and a low pass filter. And this amplifier just gives you those three. Gain, subsonic, low pass. Perfect. You don't need anything else. You don't need any of this BS, bass boost, variable bass boost, bass EQ, blah 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 crap. You just need those three, and that's exactly what Dynamic Audio has done. Awesome. All right, checking out the guts. And this is a beautiful looking circuit board. You know, Zenon usually does a lot of good work on amp boards and this is no exception to that rule. Um, this is this is a strong looking board. Um, we have here our, our eight main caps there are all these you know these I would have liked to see 105 degrees. Uh, it's not the first time Zenon has used 85 degree caps. Um, here these other caps here are all 105. So it's just these here that are a little bit lower gray, but they are Samwa, they are a good brand. You have those all around here. You've got plenty of MOSFETs. I am, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is not a 2300 watt board. This is a stronger looking board than 2300 watts. So I'm gonna look for more power than what this amp says on the heat sink. Um, I'm, I'm thinking this is probably at least 2500 watts on the low side. So it's a strong looking board. Nice job guys, everything seated really well. Beautiful looking, so. Yeah. All right, nothing left to do here but to strap up the Dynamic Audio DAK2300.1D up to our trusty amp dyno and find out just how much power this beautiful looking amplifier does. Um, are we overrated? Are we underrated? Are we accurately rated? Based on the guts, this thing, I will be surprised if it is not underrated. Um, just how much underrated, we're going to find out. So. I'll see you all after the test.
Okay, final thoughts here on the Dynamic Audio DAK 2300.1D. You just saw the numbers. And what an amazing dyno run this thing just put out. I mean, I thought this thing was going to be underrated. I thought like 2500 watts. I didn't think near 3000 watts certified, well over 3000 watts uncertified, and well over 3000 watts dynamic at 1 ohm just killed its numbers at two ohms and four ohms. This thing's impressive. For 349 bucks with what they're selling them for right now, hopefully that's still the price going forward. Um, even if they went to $400, $450, this thing's a freaking steal. Um, it's efficient. I'm impressed by this. It, the only thing that I have a downside for this is these guys make it hard to buy from them because they don't have a website. Um, I haven't found any retailers that carry them. The only thing I find is that they have a Facebook page that you contact them and they'll sell you an app that way. Um, I asked, I, I have no contacts with them. I just got info from these, from uh, Pablo Castillo, he's the one who sent me that. I've got some basic info from him about the company. That's about it. I mean, and they should be screaming about this amp because it's a damn good amp. So, if you guys get a chance to pick one up at some time, do it. This thing's definitely a gem. I like it a lot. Um, that's why we do this channel, folks. I mean, this this amp in this price range hangs with any amp out there. And I'm not talking about, well, other Zen and made amps. I'm not talking like Sundowns or Crescendos. I'm I'm talking, when you're talking about a value one, and I think this is a better value than those sundowns and DCs and crescendos and everything else. I'm talking about, like, you know, normally people say the Orion XTR 2500 because it puts out some serious power and it's, it's underrated for sure. Um, but it's also very inefficient. This one is efficient and it's also underrated and we're also getting around 3K. Um, I, I think... This, if this is 349, I think this is a better value than the Orion XTR 2500. I know some of you are going to put in the comments, I'm nuts, or I got paid off, which I didn't. I never accept money from anybody. Um, this is my true opinion, and that's because of the efficiency difference. Because you've got to put a lot more money in the electrical system to run a 2500.1 from Orion than you do for one of these. So the value number starts shifting in this one's favor. So again, great job guys. I like this amplifier. Um, that's why we do this, to find these hidden gems out there. So, all right, that's it for me folks. I got a lot more amps to test and I will see you next time.